Hi, my name's Darren, and we're going to talk to you today about mobility scooters. Uh, right from a small boot scooter up to a road scooter. Yeah. Uh, mobility scooters, in the most part, can aid a person's independence, enabling them to get to the shops or visiting friends and family. What we have here is typical of the one of many road scooters that we have available at Able World. Typical of a road scooter, you'll always finally have what we class as a captain seat on. So that's a nice plush comfortable seat uh, with usually an adjustable headrest, contoured armrests, making it nice and comfortable for the user. And exactly the same as a car seat, you'll usually find levers just on the underside of the seat, which enable movement of the seat forwards and backwards. And again, movement of the seat for the ease of use of getting onto the scooter and for comfort again. You do also have adjustability in the seat from the rear as well. You can make that nice and comfortable and the seat offers full lumbar support at the back here. Typical of most of our scooters we have, both boot and road, this model also incorporates what we call the Delta handlebar and it's got a nice foam padded collar um, which is nice and comfortable if you're using that out and about. On this model here you can now see this has left and right wing mirrors consistent with a road use vehicle. What we have here on the tiller arm of the scooter is the uh, tiller adjustment bar. This can be used by lifting this up here and pulling the controls towards you um, to suit the user's requirements. On the tiller head as well, we also have indicators. I'm just going to turn the key on now. And you can see the indicators working to the left and right. This particular model also incorporates a full lighting kit, front and rear. And on this model, we have LED lights, which make it more economical on the battery um, and give slightly more lastability on the bulb. The home button on the scooter warns any user that you are coming towards them. And also, consistent with any road use vehicle, we have the hazard lights, which can be engaged off the tiller head as well. Most importantly, you will always find the safe speed button. Sometimes pictured as a tortoise, sometimes we'll say high and low. And what that basically means is when you come off the road onto the pavement, you must always engage that button. On this model, I'm just pressing the button in here and that takes it from an eight mile per hour scooter for use on the road down to four miles per hour, exactly the same as any of our other scooters in the Able World range. On any road worthy scooter as well, you will always find an emergency brake. This brake is only for absolute emergencies. Ordinarily, the scooter again is typically powered by the wigwag controller, which takes it forwards and backwards. And again, it's worth mentioning on this model and many of the models we have available at Able World, this is ergonomically designed, so you can use it not only with your fingers, but also your thumb as well. So again, for somebody who may have arthritic hands or a hand complaint that can become quite useful. One thing we do always pride ourselves on at Able World is the quality control we go into when selling a mobility scooter to a user, whether it be a pavement scooter or a road scooter. So we always um, encourage and implore people to call into one of our many stores across the country where we will go for a full in-depth demonstration and assessment to make sure the scooter we are selling you is correct and proper. One thing that we always make available to any scooter user is the highway code, which is available in any of our stores. And this gives you the simple do's and don'ts um, for use of pavement, medium size boot scooters and vehicles such as the one I have in front of me here. One very important aspect of looking after any um, mobility scooter, especially during the winter months, is checking things like tyre pressure. Um, where we have pneumatic tyres on a road scooter, making sure that the tyre is in good condition uh, to use, use on a road. Um, on a boot scooter generally, most of the models will have um, a solid rubber tyre. So the beauty of that is you're not going to be at risk of getting punctures. We do at Table World obviously offer an extensive service and at any point the vehicles can be brought in to be serviced by one of our qualified engineers. Um, also the batteries making sure that the batteries are regularly charged even if the scooter is not being used for a period of time 
um, making sure that we charge the batteries for at least 8 to 12 hours on any of the models and we're charging them regularly as well. You'll find on most road scooters that the battery charging point is somewhere around the tiller head or on the actual tiller arm itself. Uh, we also have a range of accessories available in all of our stores which cover rain mats, scooter canopies and covers to keep the scooter in a nice tip-top condition whilst you're not using it.